Hi, my name is Tommy Budai. I'm here from Montreal, Canada. I'm an SIC team rider, and I'm here to talk about stand up paddling and the basic strokes. So, before we break down the phases of the stand up paddling stroke, I'd like to cover a few of the bases that we're going to be doing on the board. Uh, on land, we're nice and stable, but you always want to have your foot about shoulder width apart because on the water, once you're on your board, it gets a little tricky. So you got to practice nice shoulder width uh, stands with your legs a little bit bent so you have that nice up and down movement so you can control your balance. The hand position on the blade is very important as well. You want to have your bottom hand not too high up, not too low. So to make sure your hands are at the right position on your blade or on the shaft, you want to put your hands and put your paddle over your head and you try to get that 90 degree bend. And once you establish that, you try to remember it and then you can start taking some strokes. So now we're going to go into the basic breakdown of a stand up paddle stroke. I like to break it down in many different parts. The first part should be your setup. Your setup is part of your recovery. We'll cover that later. But the setup is when you're standing up nice and tall, like we talked about being nice and stable, sitting up tall so you can breathe that air in as you come forward for your next stroke. And with your hand position correctly, you're actually rotating through the trunk, through the hips, and you're rotating your upper body as well to really come forward for that stroke. At this point, you wanna make sure your bottom shoulder comes forward as well as your top shoulder is actually moving back around the axis of your trunk. And you're just doing that mini little rotation where your top arm is nice and high and you're not coming a little low. You wanna be able to come up nice and high and punch this shoulder and this arm forward. And that's right at the beginning at your catch position. The next phase of the stand up paddle stroke, I like to go into the catch. The catch is one of the most important parts in your stroke once you're out there on the water. Being the catch, very important up front, and we wanna avoid losing power, we gotta really make sure when we're up front with our top hand and our bottom hand at the perfect position, make sure that you're coming straight down and you're actually falling, I like to call it falling on the blade, instead of moving back and falling down here. That way, if you do do that, you actually miss two or three inches of your stroke, and now you just wasted a lot of, lot of that power from up front, which is very key, very important. So it's a very important motion, is that actual downward position, and really falling and catching that water up front. So the next part of our stroke will be our pull phase. The pull phase comes right after a catch where we generate a lot of power. Now the pull phase will be the one to continue that power throughout the rest of your stroke. So once we finish that catch and we have come down and our blades are locked, what you want to think about is having your hands and fingers nice and firmly on the blade. And now you're actually thinking of pulling your body towards the blade instead of pulling the blade towards you. Very important during the pull phase, as you're thinking about bringing the body towards the blade, you also want to think about is keeping this paddle vertical. So that's why it's great focus to bring your body towards the blade and not to turn that angle over too fast. Once you do that, you lose the actual power. You lose a lot of water from, from your blade so to keep the paddle vertical as long as possible and by bringing the body towards it, you will keep the blade angle and hold a lot more water. Therefore, your strokes will be a lot more powerful and you'll go faster. Our next part of our paddling stroke will focus on the exit. The exit is just as important as the rest of the stroke because you're trying to maintain that power and that speed that you generated throughout the rest of your stroke. So as we come through with the blade and we're bringing our body towards the, our, our paddle to come forward for that exit, it's very important to press down with the top arm and not forward. Because once we press forward 
we've really turned that blade into a negative and now we're just lifting up water and pushing the back of our boards down and taking away from that momentum, forward momentum. So to make a proper, nice, clean, strong exit, you wanna make sure you're continuously bringing your body forward to meet that paddle through the hip, through the body, pressing that top arm all the way down, down but not forward, because you wanna keep that nice angle. And once you've reached that moment where you no longer have use back there, you wanna just lift your paddle up with a nice little flick. You can twist the blade and lift the paddle up and shoot your full body forward like you're about to make a step on your board. So the last phase of our stand-up paddling stroke is our recovery. Again, it's very important to be able to recover between strokes. You don't want to be rushing into your next stroke. You have to take the time and actually recover. The way to achieve a good recovery is after your exit, when your body's coming forward, you want to stand up nice and tall, you want to stand up nice and straight, so you can take that nice deep breath in before your next stroke. What I like to do is really loosen the fingers between strokes. You don't need to be choking on your blade. Number one, you're wasting energy and you'll just get way too tight with your arms and your forearms. So you wanna take a nice tall stand up, loose fingers, you're coming forward. You wanna be able to see your blade. You don't wanna be too low, you don't wanna be too high. Able to see your blade right in front of you with the loose fingers and then going right into your setup position. So when you're on the water, remember your five phases. You have your setup, you have your catch, you have your pull phrase, you have your exit, and then you have your recovery. Just remember these quick steps and hopefully you can ace your paddling technique out there and see you soon.